Hey guys, how we doing today? We're uh, out here in the shop and we're uh, taking a look at this uh, Eaton Fuller 10-speed transmission. I'm going to give you a little bit of information about how it works and uh, how the power flow goes through it and uh, basic simple components inside. Alrighty, well we've took the uh, shift housing cover off of the transmission and uh, this one happens to be a uh, three rail shift housing, uh, shift rail here. Each one of these shift forks grabs our uh, clutch sleeve inside of the transmission. We're going to look down in here on that here in just a second. It's our gear train inside of our transmission. Twin counter shaft gear train. We start back here. This gear right here is our reverse gear. And, uh, this is one of our shift clutches right here and depending on where these shift clutches are it depends on what gear we're in so if I push the shift, shift clutch into the uh, if I push it in and it synchronizes in there that will put us in first gear right there That would give us this big gear being turned by a smaller gear back here. We'll bring that one out. This gear right next door here is second gear. It has a shift sleeve as well. And uh, we'll synchronize that up. That makes us in second gear. And if we're to slide this over this way, that locks us into third gear. Bring this out. And this little gear right here is our fourth gear. Lock that in. That's fourth gear on our transmission. And we're actually in neutral right here. Our power is still being transferred to our twin counter shafts from our input shaft. Our input shaft comes in right here, and there's a bearing. And our fifth gear, our direct drive gear, rides on our input shaft bearing. When you slide that, when you slide that uh, shift sleeve in there, that locks us in direct drive in either fifth gear or tenth gear, since this is a ten-speed transmission. Now we're going to look back here in the very back of this. This is our uh, auxiliary box back here that we're looking down into. And there is actually a shift sleeve back here as well. And that changed our gear ratio from high to low in the back of the uh, auxiliary box. There's a... Uh, an air spring in there that allows it to move back and forth. So we've got our air cylinder right here. That's our air filter. And a solenoid. And this is actually our air plunger down here that actually allows it to actuate back and forth. So once our power comes in on the main shaft out of the transmission, it flows into our auxiliary box. And there's a uh, two sets of gears in there, a high and a low set of gears. And that's how we get our high-low gears. So we'll go... You know, we'll go first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then once we hit our splitter switch and go into high range, first becomes sixth, that becomes seventh, 
That becomes eight. Fourth becomes nine. And fifth becomes tenth or direct drive. And like I said before, this input shaft always drives power through our counter shafts, no matter what. Our transmission is actually in neutral right now, as you can see, our output shaft's not turning. So, that's pretty much how this works in here. It's just really simple, other than, you know, looking at it, it can be very intimidating. I'm also going to touch on this. This is our uh, PTO gear. There's actually a uh, plate right here on the side of the transmission that you can take off and put a uh, PTO on there for uh, running various types of equipment. And this uh, transmission here as well, it also has a uh, oil cooler in it. It's actually got an uh, internal oil pump built into it. And if you look down in the very bottom there, you see that little tube coming across. That's your uh, pickup for the oil pump. And it pumps the oil around through this this uh, halo on the front of the transmission and spreads it out over top of the gears. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Hopefully that was informative. Hopefully uh, you learned something. Please like, share, and subscribe.